Yo, what's going on guys? Come sit back again on another MLB The Show 18 Diamond Dynasty video. And before we get started, I just want to thank you guys this past month. Well, the month of July has been officially the most subscribed month in my channel's history. So I want to thank you guys so, so much for that. It truly does mean the world to me. You guys don't even know, but I just wanted to get that out of the way. Thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate each and every single one of you. But getting into this video now, of course, you guys can see the title how you guys can get diamond players for cheap or possibly free or possibly possibly even make profit off of getting diamond players if that makes any sense and I'll get into all of that but basically the basis around all of this is we're gonna look at 89 to 85 overall diamond player live series diamond cards so basically if you guys do not know every month there is a rank season obviously you, you guys knew that though but every month there's a rank season and each month if you looked at the rank seasons reward you get an 85 to 89 diamond player for getting to world series and also championship series now world series is not that easy to get in championship series it, it's not the hardest honestly what i found this year if you play a lot of games like i'll see a lot of people that are in world series they don't even play that much to be honest with you or uh they don't they don't have a great like win to L ratio basically is what I'm saying. Uh, they could play like 50 games, they'll go like 30 and 20 and that's enough to make World Series. So you don't have to be the greatest player in the world. Sometimes you just have to play a lot of games. Some people are better so they have to play less games but it is very very doable to get to either of those. And of course you get a live series 89 to 85 diamond player. And that means all 85 to 89 diamond players go for a lot less once the rank season ends. Um, of course, this doesn't really affect basically what I call like the bottom guys, which is pretty much like Paxton, Garrett Cole, and uh, Severino as well. He goes for really cheap. And these two have really dropped in price recently as well. But as you guys can see, if you guys did not know, every month they actually show kind of... Uh, you see like the marketplace trends we're gonna look towards the end and uh, some players it does not you don't really see a huge bend especially guys like Jose Ramirez because I believe around then he did get upgraded so you know his price didn't really go down that much but let's take a look at a guy like Chris Bryant look at that band basically he's going for around 60,000 at the time of you know the end of the rank season and then look at his price just drop you know, it's uh, you know, that's a pretty big drop off if you just look from about 6:30 to like 7:04. He's, you know, he's like 10k cheaper just off that little bit, and that goes for a lot of guys. Let's look at John Carlos Stanton as well. You guys can see he goes for about 63. And then by the time we get to about the fifth, he's down to about 54,000. Now, of course, the the rewards this year, I believe, always come out. Uh, I believe it's the first and it's usually at midnight last year it, it wasn't so quick they got a lot better at giving out rewards this year which I really do like so that's when people start getting their packs and that's not necessarily when everybody's gonna get their packs because the majority of people I would say probably aren't waiting at their ps4s at you know midnight hell even Eastern time would be one or no, it's 12, it's 12 Eastern, so it'd be 12, it'd be 11 here for me. If you're on the West Coast, you have a better chance, you know, being awake at that point. But a lot of people aren't really camping for this because they're going to get it anyway. But nonetheless, like pretty much within those like four or five days, the prices drop a lot. And I'll show you guys just a couple more examples of uh, this happening. And like I said, for the really cheap guys, it doesn't really happen because... You know, guys like James Paxton, you know, he pretty, it drops off a little bit, but for the most part, it stays constant. It's harder to really get a gauge. And of course, Garrett Cole just went diamond. Uh, by the way, if you guys have a budget squad and you don't have Garrett Cole on your team, what actually are you doing? Garrett Cole is actually really funny. He didn't really even, you know, rise in price that much. You know, he's basically a 5K diamond, which is like his quick sell value, uh, which is actually kind of weird. But just to show you guys, 
guys a couple more guys you see by the 6th of june aaron judge is already down and keep in mind for all the spikes that are coming starting like 7 13 that is when the stub sale started so of course their prices are more so what they used to be now but just in case you guys did not know that the reason why you know, all of these cards spiked right at that 713 time. You see that massive incline for Posey. And this is actually a perfect way to uh, uh, perfect way to see the drop off. You know, he's going for 40,000. I know he did get downgraded, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't at that time. And you look, he's at 40,000 and all the way at the third. He's already going for less than 30k, so that's 10k just because of the ranked season's reward. And a lot of people, and you guys can actually check how many people do make a uh, World Series each and every year. Uh, you can see it pretty much like this. There is uh, 32 pages. So there's quite a few people that make World Series. You know, that's 560 people. So if you guys are interested in like the Dave Parker, you guys can have a sense of how many people or how many cards are basically going to get it. And then you look at Championship Series. Look at all of these people. You know, uh, this, <laughs> this is an insane amount. And you know, this isn't even the end, but basically take 1,700 plus the 500 in World Series. That's basically right around 2,300, uh, 85 to 89 diamond players that are going to come onto the market. And that's really why they go for cheaper prices. So now I want to tell you guys on how you can get these cords for free or possibly even make profit. And some of you guys might already know what I'm going to say sell them now if you guys have any sellable live series diamonds left you know i told you guys to sell them all by the stub sale and if you guys did you guys made out on a lot of profit like i said i bought aaron judge for 70k before the stub sale a couple days before the stub sale i ended up selling him for 97,000 stubs and look he's already down to you know 60 uh 60 buy now or 60 sell now whichever way you want to look at it so if you guys follow me on that tip you guys made a lot of stubs so you know congrats to you guys if you listen but uh, like I said it's the same thing here it's not gonna be nearly as massive of a, of a drop off but I'd expect you know like 5 10 K you know for a diamond player it does it does make a difference you know if they're their stature you know if they have a chance of going up uh, then it kind of depends say let's for example, let's say Carlos Correa is batting 500 with a 2,000 slugging percentage. Something insane like that. His price probably won't drop off that much because people think he's, you know, going to get an upgrade. So that is going to be a little bit of a differential, of course. But uh, yeah, if you guys do still have Live Series Diamonds that are sellable, I recommend that you sell them all now. You know, right now, it's a couple of days before the season ends, you know, on the 1st. You know, there's 31 days in July, I do believe. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's 31 days in July. Of course, we do not know who the next ranked season's reward is, but of course, they're still going to offer the diamond pack. So, like I said, if you guys sell off, you know, these diamond players now, you guys are going to make some profit. And basically what you do, uh, for example, let's just, uh, let's use the door. Uh, let's say you sell the door for 56000 right now. So, let's say Lindor's price Let's just say Lindor's price is going to go down to 50000 uh, And then when he goes down to 50000 that sell now is probably going to be around like the 43, 44,000. You buy him back for that. So basically you sold him for 56 and I'll just check out what taxes uh, that would be. I believe it would be okay. So you get 50000 buy him for 43000 when he's down in price. And you make like 6, 7k, so not only do you still get to keep Lindor, you made 6, 7k off a quick flip with Francisco Lindor. Really, really easy, a really good tip for you guys if you have not been using it already. Some people do already know about this, but if you guys did not, I really hope this helped you. Because of course, a lot of people want to get Vlad, and me included. You guys see, I have over a million stubs. You know, I want to get to Vlad uh, right now. I think I'm like 60, 62%. And I I'm getting close. You know, I'm going to have my million stubs spreading screen. Make sure to look out for that video. But, you know, I'm going to wait until this happens so then I can get these cards for cheaper. It's a really good idea, a really good plan, a really smart plan if you want to go ahead and maximize your stubs. 
and make some stubs quick because this will not take a long time at all and you don't have to even play online at all to get this you're just making you know stubs off the marketplace you know you don't have to get to championship series or world series you can make more stubs than they're going to off this simple tip but if you guys did enjoy the video make sure to leave a like down below i really would appreciate it of course let me know down below in the comments what is your highest uh what's your highest rating this year have you made it to world series have you only gotten a championship series let me know down below in the comments but if you like i said if you guys did enjoy the video make sure you like down below hope you guys have great with it and there you guys comes out Yay. love is love and hate is hate to die is an awesome adventure and i can hardly wait earth is a prison i need a great escape you know i'm in my zone when i'm up in outer space you know i'm in my zone when i'm up in outer space you know i'm in my zone when i'm up in outer space you know i'm in my zone you know i'm in my zone i took a bite of the glory i took